Hey guys, I'm Alessandro Catalan. Uh, you're now watching Growing Up Italian podcast with the big Sabino. Big, uh, is big good? Big, big, big like great. Am I supposed to say great that's, that's instead of big? <laughs> What's up, guys? This is another episode of Growing Up Italian Podcast. Today, we got a special guest all the way from Italy, Alessandro Catalan. How you doing? Great. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, and thanks for pleasure. being so flexible. Yeah, I changed pleasure. the time on you like six times. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm on vacation. I have nothing to do, so... On vacation mode. <laughs> what brings yeah. you to New York this time around? Um, I, 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 I bought a house here. So every time in, I can, I try to. Yeah, in nice. Williamsburg. So every time I can, me and my family, we came down here and have a good time. Yeah. So uh, wait, how you bought it recently? Like uh, it was before the pandemic. Okay. And then was like frustrating because it was the the dream of my life, and when 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 I managed to. To, to, to buy one, I was so happy, and like two months later... Mm -hmm. That happened, yeah. That happened. and Not, not so, a lot of people could say they have a vacation home in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, I know, <laughs> I'm lucky, I'm lucky, but... What made you pick Brooklyn out of all places? It, it always have been like my, my childhood dream. I always wanted to, 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 to live in New York and, and, and be part of the city, in a way. So when I started working... I always said to myself, one day, one day, I, I started to save money. A little at a time. <laughs> yeah, a little at a time, save money, save money, and, and then I, I'm here. Yeah. When, you're, when you're not here, do you, do you rent it or anything, or you just leave it empty? No, I leave it empty. That's funny. Uh, it's yeah. funny, because we're like that, too. Yeah, uh, partly because I'm, uh, I told you, it was the dream of my life, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty jealous of it, it's it's a, it's a tiny place. It's, also, it's not you, a big place. It's a really like tiny place. Grossed out of people being in your house, you know, like sleeping in your bed, stuff like that. I don't know. I I don't think is is that. It's just that I'm really really jealous of that little tiny flat that I that I got because I I always dream of it. And plus, I think the the, the building is not happy with with the with the oh, rental. Yeah. You're so not, you're not allowed. To yeah, yeah. 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 I mean. You can sneak someone in if you, but it's not. Yeah. How yeah. often do you come to Brooklyn or New York a year? Every, uh, every. Uh, I try to 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 come here once, at least once every month or two. Yeah. So yeah, every two months you'll. Two come months, yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to. It's the not easy. Not I mean, joke. yeah. The flight's not a joke. And also, you're very busy. I feel like you do so much. Yeah, but uh, it, it's strange because there are like months where you don't have one one day off, mm -hmm. and then you have two months in a row okay. with with nothing. So yeah. I try to to be flexible. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your childhood. Where where did you grow up in Italy? I grew up in a tiny tiny city in Piemonte, which is uh -huh. actually in the intersection between Piemonte and Lombardia okay. and almost Liguria too. So, okay. so how close how close are you to Milan, more or less? Uh, like well, well, your neighborhood, like, your neighborhood. Uh, forty five minutes. Oh, that's not yeah. bad. Yeah, forty five minutes from Milan and forty five from Turin and one hour from Genoa. So yeah, we're right in the middle of the triangle. Piemonte, like when Juventus didn't give their licensing rights in uh, FIFA, yeah. it was Piemonte Calcio. Yeah, because they didn't have the rights to, to, to call it Juventus, yeah, right? Crazy. So it's yeah, Piemonte yeah. Calcio, yeah. Uh, you, do, you do have like fantasy, fantasy soccer. Yeah, or, yeah, but a lot of people don't do fantasy soccer. They do like fantasy football, baseball. Yeah, sure. But sure, some people sure. do. Some people do. Yeah. Like. I, I don't like it uh, so much, but in Italy, it's a, it's a huge thing. Fanta Calcio. Fanta Calcio. Yeah. And my team in Fanta Calcio is called Piemonte Calcio. Yeah. So you got a FIFA team. Uh, yeah, I, like foot, yeah. F-U-T. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. But you don't, um, you're not a 
Juventus fan though. You're no, I'm Inter fan. Inter fan. Because I was doing my homework on you. Die know, hard Inter fan. Yeah. yeah. Die hard <laughs> Inter. How, how did that happen? Being from Piemonte, because I feel like people from Torino. I mean, even though you're 45 minutes yep. from Torino, they're all Juventus fans there. Yeah, I would have picked Torino. The, oh, the, the other, yeah, the, yeah, the little one. If I, That's if crazy. I had to choose, yeah, the little one. It's like torture. They've got big heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, they never won anything. Uh, they won in the past, like early, really early, in the early, past. Yeah, yeah really. In they the have past. like two or three Serie A wins, I think, something I, like that. I think from the more. 1900s. I think more. I think they are close to ten. I mean, almost oh, that 10. many. I think so. I I know Genoa. The other, it's another. They won yeah. like the in nineteen oh eight or something, right? Like very early on too. Yeah, Genoa has nine. They they miss one Serie A to to win the the star, you know. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, to get one star. And I think Torino is seven or something like seven eight, something like that. I'm Recently, not sure. Torino had um, their striker um, Gal. Hold on, what's his name? Yeah, Belotti. Yeah, Belotti. yeah. Now he plays nice for, Roma. for Roma. Yeah. So recently, when he was playing Roma in Torino, they was like making fun of him, like that he doesn't play. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I remember something. Yeah. yeah. So they're super passionate. And like, I guess they can't, they don't have the budget to afford these guys, you know? To afford so, Belotti, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a little team, but they have big art. So, yeah, so. And and I, I became Inter fan because my father support Inter. Inter. And, and the first time I realized soccer exists, mm -hmm. it was the year when Inter won the Scudetto in 8080. 88, 88, 89. And so from from then on. Do you like San Siro, the stadium? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's sick, like right? a church for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a... Yeah. The seats are so, so... I mean, I'm a big guy, so... Yeah. You know, but I went <laughs> And there how, with, how do you find it? They're, they're I, comfortable? Hell no. Yeah, no, I'm like, yeah. No. I'm wrapping my arms around the two <laughs> people next to me, you know? When did you go? I went um, like four years ago when it was uh, the Derby versus AC. Oh. Like we still had... Inter one. Inter, yeah. We still had um, uh, what's his name? The kid that I, I can't believe I'm not remembering. You say we Wa because Juan, the, the, guy, the guy that's married that was ah, married uh, Icardi. 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 Mario Icardi. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I, I don't know why I didn't remember his name because I was like the biggest Mario Icardi fan. Yeah, Mauro. Mauro. I think it's Mauro. Yeah, yeah, Mauro. yeah. And then he um, he scored like two goals that game. It was like one on the field and then a penalty. Ah, but yeah, remember we. The, we were losing, yeah, and we then were losing we yeah, yeah, yeah. zero or two. And then yeah, it could came, be. Or I think, we I think he, he scored three goals yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, because goals. we were losing like one or two zero, and then we, yeah. we won three two. Yeah, yeah, yeah big Are game. Are you happy with um, Inter this year though, so far? Uh, it depends. Uh, because right now in Italy yeah, and in Milan, of course. Everybody's talking about the, the the Champions League derby because we are in the semifinal against Mi AC Milan. That's actually next week. There's two. I think two, it's, yeah, I think it's around my birthday, mid mid May. When's your birthday? Uh, May 11. You're not a Gemini, then. You're no, you're I'm before. Taurus. You're right Taurus. Before. Yeah. I'm May 30th. Ah, May 30th. Yeah, Gemini. And everybody's talking about that yeah. that match. It I would mean, be the crazy. Last time it happened, there was that famous clip of like. Materazzi and Rui Costa, yeah, and Rui Costa hugging, hugging and each other. Yeah, like, yeah, it was very intense watching a derby in Milan because it was actually a Milan home game. So I think they For, sold like I got my tickets uh -huh. at the Milan store. Yeah, so like I was around all Milan fans, and I'm yeah, just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, what am I doing here? <laughs> like I wasn't with the Inter fans. You, you were in disguise. Right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I, was, yeah. I had my Inter jersey on, but. I was in the middle of all the Milan yeah. fans, and I'm like, oh my but god! But this terrible. one, these two ones will be epic. I yeah. mean, everybody's talking about it, and everybody's waiting because we we all came from like ten years where uh, Inter Milan and AC Milan didn't didn't mm -hmm. didn't went that good. Mm -hmm. So it's like a big Maybe deal. I, you're a perfect guy to ask this question, but what do you think about so like? Everybody makes fun of Italian soccer like it's a farmer's league. I don't know if they say that in Italy, but like that, you know, like let's say in England, Spain, they could afford to pay these yeah. guys more, yeah. right? So like a guy that isn't a superstar is getting like a transfer fee, 40 million, right? Yeah. Like in England, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? So a lot of people like say, especially in America, because in America, I feel everybody wants to watch Premier League. Yeah. But what do you think about that? 
the TV deals don't go to Italy like that anymore. Because growing up, like on Sunday, it would be the big City A game. Yeah. On TV. Now it's, yeah, yeah, we used to yeah. be. We used to be like the the, the best championship in, yeah. in the best league in, in the world for sure. Now we're not. And I think because the the, the game is lame, the the the, the stadiums are oh. old and pff, I, I don't know. We lose we definitely lose something. Um there's a cool bar in Williamsburg where I go to watch Serie A, it's the Banter Bar. And uh, they play they play all the Serie A games? They they play I think they play every league. They play Bundesliga, Serie A, La Liga. Oh, it's just and, all, all yeah, yeah, everything. But the Premier League as all the big screens and Serie A is on a little tiny <laughs> screen <laughs> on the corner because yeah no no one and when I go to see Serie A I'm the only one watching that game everybody else is watching, watching the Alan. Premier League yeah no, but it's fun because growing up we had like the biggest names Ronaldinho yeah Ronaldo uh, Ronald, the real yeah. Ronaldo Zidane yeah yeah yeah, Nedved, yeah yeah like all these guys were just legends and now yeah. who's the best player in Serie A Right uh, now? Yeah, who would you say? Uh, I think Leao. Osiman. Leao, Osiman. Uh, Lukaku, I mean, Lukaku. Is, is the most famous, famous, I think. I think uh, the, most, the most famous. Yeah, I think. Internationally and known. Exactly. And if you ask somebody else in the world, they say Lukaku is not that good. Yeah, like th this year he's struggling. But yeah. two years ago, he was like a machine. He the was first like, year with Conte. The first year with, the second year with Conte. Yeah, first year he was like a little rough. Yeah, he, he did well. He did well, but we end up second in in the league. The, the next point, year we won. One point. Yeah, one point yeah. from Juventus, and the second year we won the Scudetto, and he was like a, a machine, uh, he, unstoppable. I think that's the best year he he ever had in, in his whole career. Yeah, in his whole career. I, I don't know. Probably yes. Yeah, he's got like yeah, and then we Chelsea it, bought him. Yeah. And after one year, he came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens in um, Champions. I hope we, at least if Inter. Advances one more, I think Inzaghi will be safe for what, like one more year. You think he'll? he'll I go? wouldn't bet on it. I, I I don't know. I don't know because we we did very we were very lame in yeah. in in, in, in the league. Yes, but we've been good in the first in the first part of the Champions League and lucky with the with the draws uh, in in the second part and. Let's see. Let's see, what see what happens. What happens. <laughs> tell, tell me about your childhood. Like, how was it growing up in Piemonte? It, it, it was nice. I mean, it was a it was a tiny city, and I basically play soccer all the time. That's uh, what, what I do. Like ninety percent of my time. Uh, went to school. Mm, do you have a big family? No, it was just me. Only child. child. Yeah, only child. Uh, so yes, so I had all the love from my parents <laughs> just for me, <laughs> and no, it was it was nice. My my best friend now is still my best friend oh. when, from from Tortona when I was a kid. So um, it was a um, good good childhood. Um, yes, it it was a it was a tiny city, so we we didn't have much problem. Plus, it's a it's it's a wealthy city. Uh, so everybody is doing at least fine, uh, no big struggles, and so it was a nice childhood. I have to where, say. Where did you start getting into? Because I feel like you do a lot. You do acting, radio, um, stand up comedy. Yeah. You do a little of everything. Yeah. But uh, what what came first for you? I I, I started in nineteen ninety nine. Okay. Um, I did a commercial. I did a commercial for um, in Italy. We have this. Uh, we had uh, because it's not on anymore. We had this music festival, summer music festival, which is called Festival Bar. It was uh, really a big deal back in the nineties, and because b before internet, it was the only chance you have to you had to to, to see your favorite singer on, on stage. So it's like um, spring, spring break. Yeah, spring break. Uh, or like, yeah, um, it's less crazy than a spring it's like, break. It's like Sanremo. <laughs> Um, I never. I, I'll be honest with you. I never heard of it. Yeah, uh, it's not like San Remo because it's not. It was not a contest. It was like um, a, festival. a festival that that mm, went all across Italy in the summer, like every week. It's like a tour. It was yeah. It was it's like, like a tour. A rolling loud, I guess. Yeah, right? every week they were from a different city in in public so spaces. You, you got a chance to host this. 
No, 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 never. I was, uh, I was really com- young. Commercial. There was like a, co- a commercial inside, like a um, fruit juice uh, commercial. Okay. Uh, oh, of it, so like inside a concert? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, did they, they put like spots and stuff like that. And How did I, they get to you? Did they like see you? And- because it was a time where in high schools, uh, people went to, to high schools to, to, to call up uh boys and girls to do like commercial i think it was a scam actually <laughs> because they went to up to everybody and said oh you're perfect to do to do that commercial if you pay us it was like a uh, little money little money but like you're, not suppo- you're not super you're not super no it was like well um, 100 L- 100 euros yeah it was still the lira <laughs> the lira uh like uh, 100 euros so that, I, I, I mean that's a nice that's a nice amount of money. In Italy, you like to get 100 euros from somebody? Yeah, like but it was teeth. it was in the 90s, so it was 100 lire. Some, see, 100 lire. It is something, but it's not so much because they, they, they promise you like three, four jobs um, every month and you gain a lot of money. So I think it was a scam. <laughs> but yeah. so me and a lot of other guys um, did it. were, yeah, we, we did it. And so they, they took, pictures of us and say okay next week we'll call you and i never heard anybody for like two years oh my god <laughs> so i was like so you uh, forgot about it yeah yeah i forgot yeah. about it and then one day uh the phone rang and they were from the, the the festival bar production and they were asking me if i wanted to to do that commercial and the year before that commercial was like four or five guys dressed like uh orange juices dancing on stage uh, and stuff like that so I, I so i said no 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 i'm not going to to do that and they told me no th- this year it will be different it will be like more acting and stuff like that so i said okay i'll give it a try and i went and then i met like a a tv author that the 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 year later um, was starting a, a music a little music television and he remembered me and he called me so since since then, I since then you've been doing yeah doing so after that commercial, what was like the next big thing that happened? To you? I think hosting TRL on MTV. Yes, because that's right. You host TRL in Italy. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So yeah. your Italy is Carson Daly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. And I, I came to it. I came I, I remember I, I came to New York to to see TRL. They they brought me here to see how how we worked. So I met Carson Daly in 2001. It was, it was like a great show because in, in that episode, he had Charlize Theron, he had uh, the Run DMC, and another big name, maybe Pharrell. I, I can't remember. Yeah, but it, I was like starstruck. And yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. What's funny is, I oh, little pick here, by the way, guys. I always... Tell Sabino a joke with him that he's the Italian American Carson, Carson Daly. Carson Daly. Daly. No, I am. So you are the real. <laughs> he's the real I am. I am Carson Daly I'm, in I'm, real life. I'm the American kid that every yes. once in a while because he was a cool guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it was fantastic. Great years uh, have been because. He, he, I had the chance. I was really young. I had the chance to, to travel all, all across the the world. I I'm, I was sent to U.S. a lot. Uh, I did a show in Las Vegas. I met a Snoop Dogg there, and yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Did you smoke Babania with Snoop? No, Dogg? no, no, no. I, <laughs> I didn't because I was too scared. I know. I, I, know people I wasn't are... sure if it was legal, so <laughs> I didn't want to I end know, up in. I know people that don't smoke, and they tell me like. If I meet Snoop Dogg, I'll I will do my a, first. Yeah, 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 yeah my first. Yeah. I, I don't smoke actually. <laughs> Guys, listen. Forget using crushed red pepper on your pasta and pizza. That's so 1900s. We got hot crispy oil. Four ingredients is all you need to take your dish to the next level. We got fried garlic, shallots, chili pepper, and olive oil that make this. Make sure to get yours today at hotcrispyoil.com and use code GUI to get 15% off. So make sure you go to hotcrispyoil.com to get yours today. Looking for a place to go out, day during a week, weeknight, looking to impress a girl, looking to have a fun time for a birthday? Qzar is everything you want in some entertainment. You got axe throwing, you got laser tag, you got arcade, you got food, you got drinks, you got everything you want. Check out Qzar and tell them Growing Up Italian sent you. I actually saw some videos of you on YouTube where... 
you performed like with Gali, like a song. Ah, yeah. That, that, that was, it was, it was so funny, bro. Yeah, because uh, in, in uh, I always like, I always like to, um, yeah, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a football player or a singer in a boy band. Like Backstreet Boys? I, yeah, I was, I, I was totally into Backstreet Boys and stuff like that. Was <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and so now that I have a late show, I, every time I have the chance, uh, I enjoy like singing si- silly songs and funny, funny songs with, with my guests. Was, was like boy bands ever big in Italy? Well, the Backstreet Boys was, of course, but, not, like, Italy but no, we, boys. no, we, we never had, uh, we, when, when the Backstreet Boys, I mean, they were the only one, Backstreet Boys, Take That, do you remember Take That? I mean, they, they've never make it in, in US. In in Italy and sync, not that much. I, no? I mean, we, we, we knew them, but well, not I, that much. I always ask like kids from our generation, Backstreet Boys or in sync. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that Backstreet was Backstreet Boys sold so many more records than in sync, but in sync has Justin Timberlake. Yeah, so, so they like, a yeah. lot of girls like like in yeah. sync because of Justin Timberlake. Yeah, he he, he brought the legacy of yeah, the in sync. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but um, no, way before Backstreet Boys, we had Take That. They, they were like from England Manchester, band? England, from Manchester. That was huge, and then Backstreet Boys, and then One, Dire- one Direction. I think that that's a newer one, no? One Direction. Yeah, the the, the Harry Styles band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I, band I where Harry Styles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I, I was too old too. I mean, I I don't know many songs from. I feel like the Harry Styles fans are all like young girls, like yeah. super super young. Like my younger cousins love him. Yeah, I don't know. I'll hear if I hear if you told me oh this is his song I'll be like okay yeah sure 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 yeah off the top of my head I can't name them yeah you know? it, it, same for me Backstreet Boys I knew all the songs and and uh, all the words the, all all the lyrics yeah I was I was a fan so yes every time I have a chance I I, I sing silly songs with my guests yeah <laughs> I love that. And I saw you were hosting a show with Laura Pausini too, right? Yeah, it's the Eurovision. Eurovision. Uh, it's, it's basically like America's Got Talent situation? No. I think... What's it most comparable to? I think with, with Sanremo, is the Euro, European version of Sanremo. I mean, it's like the Champions League. If you win Sanremo, you go to Eurovision. Oh, Eurovision. And so you have like the winners on. from every country festival, every Europe country. But so I think it's... That's the Bonskin one three years ago, Eurovision. The, Ma- the Manskin one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. They won so that. So you host that with her? I I or host that with with her no no I host oh. the show with her with Laura Pausini and Mika you know Mika Mika too yeah, yeah the yeah, singer too. yes and we had a great time because um, the um, the rule the rule is that um, if Maneskin Maneskin win the next year the the show will be held in, in, in the country of the former winner that's fire yeah, yeah so, so that's why you guys. Hosted. Yeah, so yeah. they they pick Italy and they they choose us to to host. And on my year, uh, the, the the Ukrainian uh, band won, mm-hmm. so it was supposed to to be held in Ukraine. But of course, yeah, you, you cannot. So this year it would be in Liverpool. Okay. Yeah, but it's a huge thing. I mean, it, it has like. Mm, Forty-two millions. I I think it's the. Um, it's like a Super Bowl every. every yeah. Week. It, except from the Super Bowl is the um, is the TV show with the biggest audience in the world. Wow. Yeah, is the non is non sport show with with yeah. the biggest audience. How was that experience? Like working on a show. It was great because I, I I grew up in 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 TV shows with MTV. Then I host I hosted uh, the X Factor in Italy for like ten years. So that kind of show I, I feel comfortable in. Uh, so it was it was fun. And and Turin, it seems like uh, you had the World Cup because uh, when you when you go outside in Turin, you go to pubs and stuff like that. You you see many fans with the faces painted with the with bands. a flag yeah. uh, with a flag of the country. It was like a, a big party for uh, for the city. Even like working on a show like that, once you say for your career wise, it just helps you so much because. 
even being more recognized for being on the show, you know? Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the funny thing is that it went very good in, in Italy, of course. Uh, I think it's been broadcasted in US and Australia, outside Europe. And in Europe, it did very well in Spain, but it's in some countries, it did like 95% of the viewers that night in like uh, Bielorussia, in Belarus, yeah, it was night. Yeah. It, it means that every everybody everybody <laughs> watched that watched that show that that night. It was fun. I have to compare it to this, and I hope you don't hate me, but Instagram followers wise, yep. after being on an episode like that, how many followers like do you get after being on a, a show like that? Ah, uh, that's that's a good question because um, when when I'm on TV in Italy, uh, they they grew a lot. They, they they grow they grow a lot. Like you see it like right after it airs, you'll see it. Yeah, nuts. I expected a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, in reality, uh, I I grew up like uh, fifteen thousand uh, in, in that week. In that week, yeah. In that week, that's still very good. Yeah, that, that's good. But I I thought like it's another it's worldwide. Million, yeah, it's yeah, worldwide. Million, yeah. So, but probably from one million to two. No, uh, it was like fifteen. No, but from so. since that um, we started exchanging numbers, I seen your your numbers jumped up like crazy too. And I think another reason was uh, the Netflix special you were doing. Yeah, it helped probably. So yes, 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 yes. That tell us a little bit helped. about that because uh, I saw the trailer. Yeah. But I didn't get to watch the show. It's very hard for me to watch like a whole series. But um, after we were talking about it. I was like, yeah, I really g- like the message. Give it a try, yes. It's, it, it's, it's a show on on something that everybody talked about for uh, for like the history of, of planet Earth, I think, which is like uh, the, the search for happiness. Mm-hmm. But it's in an I- ironic way because I, I didn't expect to fight to find the answer to then to, to that question because no one has. And it started from a conversation between me and my oldest daughter. Uh, at the time she was um, at the time she was like seven, eight. And we were watching Falling Stars, uh, Shooting Stars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Shooting Stars. And so we we were thinking about like a, a wish uh, and and she asked me, what are you wishing for? I always wish for stupid things when I when I see a, a shooting star like it's a stupid thing. Uh, let's hope uh, Inter win the league and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> not that stupid. Yeah, yeah, right. No, no, not not serious thing. Uh, me, me, it's like a Knicks championship. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That, that kind like of thing. Stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing. And but that time I tried to I I, I pretended I was like super wise like a dad and say and i and i answered uh i wish for your happiness and and i was talking to a baby and 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 the kids are really smart on that and she asked me back okay if you wish for my happiness tell me what what i have to do to be happy i uh, uh, because she felt the responsibility to fulfill my my my, my dream no to, for her to be happy and and i and I was like, okay, I don't know how, how to be happy, and, and that question moved me to to to, to start writing this. And we, we call it yeah, docu docu series, docu series, because it's alpha series, uh, interview, alpha interview, alpha documentary, alpha mockumentary, well, too many halves. You interview, you interview <laughs> so, Baggio. Yeah, yeah, I right? interview Paolo Sorrentino. You know the director, Premio Oscar. He won the Oscar for. Um, uh, La Grande Bellezza. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, Roberto Baggio, which has been a, like a, a crazy experience because y- you never see Baggio. Since he retired, mm-hmm. he never showed up. Where did he go? He, he, he lived in his hometown in Vicenza. He has this uh, like. A villa? Yeah, it's more like a villa or almost a, a, a farm. He lives in, in the bushes. Uh, he has like a forest around the house. He he likes to be alone. And he welcomed me in, into his house. We we shared this moment. He's, he's a Buddhist. 
and he meditates right. every day. He is, that is, yeah, he, is. he meditates every day since like thirty um, years, and we did that together. I had to wake wake up at three in the morning to be with him for the meditation at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it was crazy. Then Gianluca Vialli, mm-hmm. uh, which has been like uh, a really moving chat with him. And yeah, it's it's. I think it's it's a fun show with some movie mo- moments inside. Yeah, I th- what, what's the name of the show? Everybody. Um, one simple question. And so, people always ask us how they can learn Italian. That's the perfect way watching shows, listening to music. Because if you don't understand it, you can put the subtitles on. And yeah, you, and you learn, yeah. You know? I, I don't know if I'm the right person to watch to understand Italian because I speak. <laughs> Too fast. I speak. I speak too fast I when I like when I speak Italian. Could, but if they can understand you, they yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you can do it with me, you, you, you're Italian. You have no problem at all. Yeah, you have no problem at so all. After doing this whole show docu series, can you answer the question? What makes you happy? No, because uh, as I was saying, I think no one for can you, can you sincerely. For you personally, like what makes you happy? It's like recognizing the, the little moments you, you have. Uh, everybody is happy. Every once in a while, you just have to 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 recognize that that little moment and not let it let it sleep uh, too 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 fast. Um, uh, in in my stand up in my stand up, I talk about uh, the l- little in it in it, in Italy we call it lit, uh, le piccole gioie. Uh, like little, the little, little things joys. like the little joys small, small pleasures small pleasures and i and i have this piece when i say that i don't believe in small pleasures because um sometimes i talk to my friends and they're like oh you know what i like i like to have breakfast yeah. with my kids uh, uh, every day and i'm like yeah yeah that, that's a big thing don't don't call it small uh, yeah. it's it's a big thing so i think happiness is is pretty much pretty much it yeah, family is a big part of it too. Yeah, yeah, ev- everything that gives you joy, uh, don't reduce it to to exactly. a small it's thing. A small thing. Uh, elevate it to a, a, a big thing. You said you were. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but you you do do stand up, and you're working on a project. Is that allowed to be spoken about? Uh, about? not yet about the project, but yes, I I tried to do stand up. It was the first time in my life because I always when, yeah. Did. So this started after you gained all this like. TRL, all, all your TV Yeah, yeah, it's, it's super recent. Oh, so it's recent. Yeah, yeah. What I, made you, like, you're such a successful guy. What made you want to add to it, you know? Like, what made you want to add the, the comedy aspect? In, in a way, the pandemic. Because really? uh, during the pandemic, um, I, I was supposed to do uh, that, that live show mm-hmm. uh, because I, I I like funny things and I in in my TV show every once in a while I put I put inside some part of monologue and blah yeah. blah blah, uh, and and we decided to do one night, uh, spectacular uh, yeah a uh, one night special special show, and it was supposed to be held in the Mediolanum Forum, uh, yeah, which is like. Yeah, Asago. It's we, the, were, we were just there. Yeah, the it, it's one of the biggest stage it's the in, in biggest Italy. Indoor, yeah, I think yes. It's the biggest indoor concert yeah. hall yeah. in uh, Milano. Yeah. The only place bigger is San Siro, and it's outdoor. Yeah, it's outdoor. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the, 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 biggest it's the biggest indoor, indoor space. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I decided, okay, okay, I can I can do that. I can write a show. Uh, the show was was not written yet, but uh, I said yes. Okay, let's let's do this and. Right after I started to, so uh, you did you did like a long set and you never did comedy before? No, I never did. That's crazy. But I was supposed it was like uh, three years ago. I said, okay, let's do that show at the Mediolanum Forum, uh, and the next day I started to to regret it because. The show was not ready. I, I did. It was the first time. I didn't know if I was able to do that. So I started the next day to to hope for the show to fail. I mean, please, please, God, God. Not to fail, not to fail. No, to fail. I didn't want to do it. I mean, I, I said oh, you yes. you mean like you wanted like the audio not to be working that day or something? I was not too scared. Gonna I was too scared. I, I I said yes, but then I realized I had nothing uh, to to do. So I, I, I started to, to, to wish it for it to, to, to fail, not to, to happen. Uh, and then the COVID happened. 
So it has been canceled. Oh my god! <laughs> and I, and, and, I you're, you're and for a moment, I was like, "Wow!" wow. <laughs> then every, every, the, then our life was fucked up by by the COVID, and we were stuck in stuck at home. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it was terrible. And little by little, it started to uh, to get better. And when everybody was uh, allowed to to be out again, I, I I thought, okay, let's do let let's do it, let's do the show, but not just one night. Let's do a tour. So that's what that's what I did. I just finished the, um, and did the that tour. Fail? No, no, no. It went <laughs> really great. Uh, luckily, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. It was fun. So uh, now that I know that I can do that, I want to do it as much as I I, I can. Yeah, yeah. So I feel, I was talking to Matteo Lane recently, and he was on a show, and we were basically saying that Italy, like comedy, people don't really t like do a lot of comedy shows, like America. Yeah, yeah, it's no, more no, like of course, of course. It's yeah. a TV program, and like yeah. you see a TV show, like it's the growing. host Batute, right? Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. But it's not really like Kevin Hart, like no. that you go no, see no, specials. No, 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 uh, it's growing. Uh, in in the last years, um, it it all started from small clubs who decided to to give the chance to young comedians. I, I mean, with in, because because I feel like Italian, Italy has Italian, so many great comedians. Yeah, but as you as you said, Italian comedy has always been um, on TV. So you had a, a different. Uh, Kind perspective of. of it yeah 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 it's it's a different kind of comedy like the host just is funny yeah and then but it's not like you you watch a comedy show for an hour no more quick punchline yeah it's more punchlines yeah. and jokes about your wife and yeah. <laughs> your wife's mother your sister, your sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and stuff like that uh Who would you but say? but you know with with internet the, the young kids started to like start, started yeah. to to watch the American comedians, and now in Italy it's growing up. That thing is growing yeah, like up. Yeah. That. Who do you think is the biggest comedian in Italy right now? Y you mean stand up comedians? Yeah. Uh, or even I mean even actors that do stand up too. There know? are not not many. Uh, I think we got Kecco Zalone. Okay. Kecco Zalone started with like um, as a. As part of the cast of Zelig, which is like the, the 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 biggest comedy show on TV in Italy for many years, and now he's touring by himself, and he, he did movies, and so he's an actor who can do stand-ups, and I think he's is the biggest one. Between the um, the young kids, the young guns, uh, there's Luca Ravenna, okay. which is doing really really good, and Stefano Rapone. See, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Luca Ravenna is a Mil Milanese guy. Stefano Rapone is from Rome. And they are the most successful one right now. What about right Pio now. and Amadeo? They do different things. Yeah, they, they, they do, do like, like more show. Yeah, they're crazy well, as Pio shit. Pio and Amadeo with Mike Tyson might be like the greatest yeah, couple of minutes yeah, yeah, yeah. I've ever seen. They have no so shame. They yeah, have yeah, no yeah. shame at all. I, I've seen, I've seen <laughs> I them doing I'm things <laughs> that I... Can't imagine. Can't imagine it was possible. There's like a part of that when like Amadeo was going to bite his ear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, what I saw them. I saw them stealing money. Uh, I had them as guests in my late, late night show, and I see the, seen them stealing money from the audience. They went to the audience uh, saying, "Oh, I need money! I need money! Give me money!" And the guy in the typical, audience thought it was typical, yeah, Italian, th like. thought it was a joke, but. Then they kept the money and went away. <laughs> we had to refund. Yeah, we had no. to refund the guy. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's what makes them so special is that it's really, like, I saw something like they went to jail for doing something. Like they, they really like. I could be maybe in Russia. Something like that. I don't know 100%. Could be. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but it could so be. Yeah. My quick Pio and Amadeo story is when uh, I was with Sveta in Paris. These two guys come in his dressing room. Yeah, and with the first. Like, I'm like, <laughs> it's like, what is it? Idiots, they're crazy. Right? They're crazy. So yeah. then, um, when his last song, they come out and perform L'Italiano with him, and the crowd's going crazy. Uh, 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 uh. Whatever, whatever. And then we go to this restaurant right after the show, and they come again. When the cameras weren't rolling, yeah. they were like so cool, normal guys. Yeah, they are. They are. But all yeah. of a sudden, the cameras come out, 
And they're like, oh, they're wild. Old. They're like, yeah, they're they wild. Take, like, they go they, wild. They take Sveta's jacket. Then they go look for it. They're like, Shablo was there. They're like, Shablo. And you just see Shablo running, running away. Running away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he only had like 50 euros in his pocket. Yeah. I think he did it on purpose. If you know them, you run. Uh, I, I saw an episode when they went, I, I can't remember the city. Uh, they went probably Paris to go to uh, Paris Saint Germain. PSG. Yeah, Even maybe I'm wrong. with um, Neymar and. Bape. I can't remember, but they went to um, they, they they went oh, to Verratti dinner. Too? Yeah, probably Verratti. Yeah. Probably Verratti. They they went to the, the these football players and they asked for money and some of them have money and they they gave, they, it, they gave it. I think they bought, like made somebody buy him a watch too. Yeah, probably. Yes, yes. Yeah. And someone as an as an cash money, they they went with him to the ATM machine to to withdraw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they forced him to withdraw money. There's nothing like this in America, by the way. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like there's no Nothing close. Close to this. No, yeah. no, nothing. So I really like that yeah. whole like format. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. What you should else? try to. <laughs> yeah, right? No, I don't know, man. I, in America, you'll get beat up. Yeah, everybody in America. Yeah, I, every once in a while, I watch on YouTube these guys who um, went in like dangerous neighborhood to annoying people yeah, yeah. on purpose. And every once in a while, they, they they've got smacked up. smacked up. Yeah, yeah. Well deserved, though, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I root for, I, I root for the local guys. Yeah. Kisses is ever doing. Yeah. Schiaf. What um? What are some people that are in your bucket list to work with? Ooh. Um. I don't know. I had the chance to to interview Jimmy Fallon here That's in fire. here in US. I went to the Tonight for, Show for Italian programming. Or? Yeah, for my late night. That's nice. Uh, we we write emails to to Jimmy Fallon stuff, and he was so so nice. He, he answered back, and we we went to the Tonight Show, and we did the interview in his studio. He he switched chairs with me, so I was. At the wow, desk, I was at the desk, and it was like in 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 the armchair, in the, in the guest chair, and and he was so um, uh, how do you say uh, generous? Yeah. He was so generous. He, he gave us time, and he was not for. Um, I feel like more people got do. I mean, me be doing all the stuff I do. I always say like that Italian comedy, Italian music, like it deserves that love, you know. Yeah, so, I I, I, I feel like that. We don't I get feel it. that. We don't get that. Uh, like Italians don't get that enough. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I, I feel we are we are loved in 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 US. I mean, yeah. when you say you're Italian, suddenly everybody smiles yeah. smiles at you. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was doing that, that that show in Las Vegas, and every time I I, I talked to people and said ah, I'm Italian, everybody was telling me they had parents. And relatives in in Italy, mm -hmm. every everybody is like. I mean, we populated I mean, the world. So I mean, many Italians <laughs> came here. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably yes. I actually got to ask you a question because your last name is Catalan. Yeah. All right. Does anybody ever say to you, "Oh, you're not Italian because your last because like, you have no vowels at the end"? That you're not Catalano or Catalani? No. In Italy, in Italy, it works well. Uh, I mean, everybody knows if you. Don't have the vowel at the end of the um, huh? of your last name. Uh, you're not a stranger. You're from Veneto because in Veneto, ninety percent of the last names has no vowel because you that? have. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I I never asked, but that's that's a good question. I, uh, I'll try to, to to study that subject. Because I'll give you an example. Better. Like if um, let's say your first generation, let's say your mom is born and raised in Italy, comes here when she's twenty. Meets an uh, American guy, and his last name is Smith. And then you're um, Francesco Smith. You speak Italian every day. Somebody yeah. will see Smith, non sei italiano. You're American. Even me, yeah, yeah. That I do growing up Italian, I talk to Italians every day. My parents were both born today. They say I'm not Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you What do you think about Italian Americans in general? Do you think? Uh, like, is there something for you that says uh, what's What's the thing that like the the line in the sand that makes you Italian or not Italian for you? Ooh, that's a tough question because it's hard to answer without uh, like falling into stereotypes and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, I'm sure I'm not offending 
anybody if I said that the love for the pasta is is really the thing. I mean, uh, so I, I, so I've been I, I grown up eating pasta twice a day, every day. For I, I mean, twice. It's, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something that you cannot. You should be looking like me, and I should be <laughs> like you. Do you. You ever hear how people um, always say that pasta in Italy like is healthier because it's like less. You know, it's more fresh ingredients. Rather like, than in you, U.S.? I mean, do you believe in that? Like, what, why do you think? Never heard of it. Um, because over here, a big thing is like not eating so many carbs. Yeah. Italy, yeah, yeah. it's all about the carbs. Yeah. Uh, it, it's even in Italy in, 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 the last, in the last years, people are starting to say uh, it's, it's better not to eat too many carbs, not to eat them uh, Late at night. Late at night. Yeah, I don't believe. God bless that you. Kind of, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, I love pasta. Did, did quinoa get to Milan yet? You know Who? Quinoa, quinoa. No quinoa. Ah, quinoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We call it quinoa. Did, did yeah, I yeah. Say it wrong? I no, said no. It probably, you said it right. probably you said it right. I mean, we we pronounce it quinoa. Yeah. Quinoa. I, I mean, I like. <laughs> I I like. I eat pretty much everything, and I like quinoa. I like vegan food. I like everything. But but if I I can live without eating like Italian yeah. Italian cuisine, yeah. But you know, I I think a big eating habit that's different between Italians and Americans is like this morning you came here super early, super generous on my time. I don't know anybody would do an interview this early, but I appreciate it because <laughs> no, 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 you your professionalism. But I offered him breakfast. I'm like, do you want a big age egg sandwich? Huh? He's like, no, 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 no. Cut fat, you know? Yeah. And I noticed like a lot of Italians are like that, that breakfast, un cornetto, un cappuccino. Yeah, yeah it's, maybe it, un biscotto, it, it, it's little... super fast. I, I actually don't do breakfast at all. I mean... Is uh, it because of fasting or you just don't like it? I, I don't like sweets. No? No, not not that much. Uh so I So you don't like Nutella. I mean, everybody lo loves Nutella. So if You're I not eat paying it, us, by the way. No, 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 no. This is just real right. Yet. Now. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. Uh no if you're, if you're if, watching this it's not too late Nutella. if i eat it i like it but uh -huh. i never uh starving for, for for nutella i starving for salame i mean that that's my kind of thing prosciutto, i like prosciutto salame yeah, yeah 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 see for me it's like after don't get me wrong i'm the same i feel but then my fat ass like right after i eat la salame i need a little something no, sweet ah, you okay. never saw yeah, the yeah, yeah. meme like like a little fat person like after they eat like three courses like my fat ass think about dessert you know yeah yeah, yeah like sure, a little something sure, sweet sure, sure sure no no i skip to to coffee all right yeah and no sugar either no sugar no no this no. is why you're skinny yeah probably yes but it's not a choice it's like a yeah it's taste breakfast yeah. does suck <laughs> he, he doesn't like breakfast they say either. he's the most important meal of the day no you you, you terrible you, yeah terrible I, I don't like it either i mean i think if you have like a little you know if you could wait to eat at like 10, 30, 11, you know? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. me, like, but as I, soon as I, I wake up, I got to eat. I would go straight to pasta either you way. Would? Yeah, yeah. I can eat pasta at 10, 30, 11. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little breakfast pasta. Yeah, <laughs> breakfast pasta, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, else, um, what else is coming up for you? Oh, actually, um, I wanted to talk about your, uh, your role in Angry Birds because I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Because I, I was doing my homework on you. I saw... That you did uh, the voice of that yellow, little yellow bird? Yeah, Chuck. I think Kevin Hart did that he in, did, right? in US. I yeah. was thinking about it. Yeah, I think Kevin Hart did mm, the, the original voice for Chuck, the, the, the yellow bird. And in Italy, it was me. I think they picked me because he's super fast. And uh, as I was telling you before, yeah. I, I speak super fast in, in Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, so. what's great is that, you know, going to Italy every summer, I'll remember like, Italy has all the cartoons that we have, mm -hmm. but then the voice dubs are yeah. over it. So like sure. Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, everything. Like yeah. Italy, like yeah, I yeah. remember like being in my nana's house watching it and watching it time, and it's like it was so funny to me like watching Dragon Ball Z in Italy is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was. It came out when I was starting growing up, mm -hmm. so I um, I read the the manga, but I kind of missed the the, the cartoon on TV. But it was like um, uh, a 
a big date for everybody. Two o'clock sharp. Yes, uh, yes. You came back from right school. After school. Right. Yeah, yeah, you came back from. But the school. only like growing up, I feel almost like the same guy did everybody's voice. Yeah, it could you know be. what I mean? Like now, yeah, now, now think, with like Angry Birds, that they use a guy like you and. It, they got a bunch of different guys. Yeah, but I was like, Thank in God. Italy, I, I don't know how it works here, but in Italy, there's a big differences, the big difference between like the um, cartoon for TV and cartoon for cinema for for movie theater. Uh, if it's like a big, it's bigger budget on TV, big on, production, on movie, yeah. Disney, uh, Pixar, or stuff like that. Uh, Illumination, they they pick like uh, popular voices to do that. If it's like TV TV shows they I think could yeah. be they have one guy yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who yeah, who, super, who does it all super smaller budget yeah 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 but it was fun doing do we chuck I I did two two cartoons two mm, I did Angry Birds and I did Pets oh you did Pets also yeah That's yeah funny. and on Pets I was the main character the Max the dog yeah which I think Louis C K did the voice here here in yeah. in the U S and that's a, that's and amazing, in man. in Angry Birds, I did the um, the wingman, the the the, the, the sidekick, yeah, 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 the second guy. And the second guy in cartoons is the funniest. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's way better than being than first. doing the first. Yeah, because yeah. you got the one liners. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's is is the funny one in the in, in cartoons. Yeah. What else would like would you love to do? I I don't know. I'd like to I'd like to um, do what I do. And try to maybe experience foreign working. I mean, in like America. to yeah, America. I, I like Spain, uh, so um, try to, to to work outside Italy. But doing what I do, I mean, it's the only thing that that your English is very good, by the way. Yeah, how did I go? No, very good. I very think good. you could take that Netflix series to to America. Re, uh, d- dubbing in yes. in, in, in dubbing English. Yeah, 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 okay. Actually, try you do it in English, and then you got put a tie in sometimes. <laughs> yes. I put Let sometimes in Italian. You know? Ah, yeah. Um, good, good to hear. Yes. But yes, I'll, I, I don't know. I, I just started. Yes, what, what, what keeps me busy, really busy right now? I started a um, publishing company, uh, book, book publishing oh, book company. Publish. Nice. Uh, and it. It soaks good? soaks me, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot. I want to know how you found growing up Italian. I don't know if you followed growing up Italian or me first. I'm curious, like how you saw us. I think someday uh, a video appeared in my timeline, but I think it was New York Nico. Uh huh. Probably. Which he'll be here any minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, looking forward to to meet him. And and then since since I, I I love New York and I love the neighborhood, I I was seeing that it was shot here and yeah. it maybe could give me tips on where to go to eat and stuff like yeah. that. So I and, and then I found out that you're super funny, and, That's funny. and so because I think like we started talking like right the day I was leaving Milan in September. Oh yeah 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 because um I was. Watching what what you was what you were doing, and then when you were in Italy, I saw you posting with Sfera, I think, or Gue, which are friends of mine. So I mean, oh, they know each other. So yeah. I I decided to to text you. That's awesome. Yep. I have a question. Yep. Who who are if you have any? Who are your favorite artists, music artists in Italy right now? Uh, I mean. I stick to my um, uh, old old favorite, which are still uh, contemporary, which is like Cesare Cremonini. Yeah, he's more like song songwriting. Uh, in Italy now, mm, hip hop or trap music is Do you is, listen is, to mostly is, Italian is really music or popular. American? Now that I'm old, yes. yes. When I was a kid, almost nothing. Almost nothing. Now that I'm that I grew up, yes, I I listen to a lot of Italian music, and talking about rappers, I my, my triangle, my like God divinity triangle, it's Fabri Fabri Fibra, okay, Marrakesh, and Salmo, Salmo, I think, 
I, I I like the, the lyrics and yeah. stuff, but so Gwe, like, Gwe is a genius. Yeah. Gwe is a genius. Super funny. I mean, yeah. I, it, when I heard when I heard a song from Gwe, it's not something that I can connect to because it, it I I don't think it talks to me. But I found I I, I found what he what he write like genius, genius lines. Yeah. Genius lines. He is he's amazing. I think, I think he's found a way to be so big for so many years like he's Gwen. constantly recreating himself yeah. yeah 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 but those three fabri salmo and mara i mean i i would you for say me, that's italy's biggie jay-z nas yeah i never thought about it but definitely yes mara, because they're, like they're, i mean it's something that transcend music is poetry i mean they have um for me mara mara and fabri most of all are like writers uh the poets w- poets yeah you, w- when you when you when you listen to a song of of them it's like reading a novel sometimes so yeah yeah, yeah 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 they're they're fantastic yeah no, i'm i'm excited to see everything you're working on thank you so much thank you guys thank time. you guys make sure to check him out on all social platforms of course check in the description follow him on instagram and uh thank you again thank you thank you thank you guys